were screwed. Worse, I don't know what happened in here. I came in, checked on this about a week ago. Let me recap. Hurricane, we had a great stand of Chihuahua millet coming in here that we planted, planted late May. Hurricane Debbie put water about this high, killed it all. Well, there's a few little stands here and there that survived. Um, Debbie killed it all. Tom and I got out here, burned some of this disket, exposed some dirt. I put out Japanese millet, checked on it about a week. It was getting about that tall. And now it's all gone. This was starting to all turn green a week, 10 days ago. Now it's gone. There's a little bit right through here maybe, which I didn't think that seed, I don't even know where that came from. I didn't think the seed even really was doing anything there. But this is a mud flat. Uh, that's it, it's too late to do anything. It's September 14th, right? I mean, there's no way I can get anything to grow in here in time to uh, make duck food. So we have a mud flat. I don't know. I mean, it's we got a little bit of stuff over here, but I mean, this is, one duck will eat this in an afternoon. You know, this is making a little bit. Some of this actually, no, that's Chihuahua. That's too thick of a stock to be Jap, too tall. Look at this, it's all gone. This was growing. This was starting to turn up into a nice little green lawn. Now it's all gone. I don't know if this flooded again. I didn't think we had any real rain. It's wet as it can be, but we got a big rain yesterday. But the river didn't flood. But obviously there's standing water. This must have flooded again. And um, the stuff just hadn't come on long enough, high enough for it to survive. Now this is all growing and that is millet and i'm sure i don't remember if i even got any seed there i don't understand this at all there's a bunch of seed over there that must be chihuahua that has survived the first flood from debbie because i did not plant anything over there i didn't plant any japanese millet over there and there's some barnyard grass in it as well a little bit of stuff back there a little bit of smart weed back here but it never really produces much in the way of food there's some millet right here. But again, I don't think I planted the Japanese back here. This is obviously Chihuahua. Uh, one of the things about it is it has this very thick stalk. That's why I chose it. And you can see it's that's taller than, that's five feet tall. That's taller than Japanese millet gets. Boy, wow. Disheartened to say the least. Well, huh, we'll make do. Um, I guess I could try to buy another 10 pound bag of a Jap and just throw it out here. I mean, maybe it'll do something. At the very, very least, maybe it'll just have some stalks growing up. And, you know, invertebrates and stuff will get on it, but I got that here. Wow, this is, this is disaster. <laughs> um, <laughs> other than throwing out a couple hundred pounds of corn, we're not gonna, which I'm not gonna do, we're not gonna have any duck food in here. At least none to really draw me in. Uh, well, you know, they used this place before I started putting food out here. They used back here anyway, and I've never put food back there. I don't know. We gotta get our line moved. And I guess we'll sit here and drink coffee all season. Yeah, maybe I'll go home and just order a small bag of Japanese millet. I don't think any local places have it, and they would all want to sell me a 50 pound bag, which I don't want. I get 10 pounds and just come out here by hand in a couple days it's getting ready to rain for the next three or four days which will probably flood this which I, I don't want and if you if you don't listen to the foul weather podcast with dr mike no yeah the foul weather podcast with dr mike schumer you should he's been talking about how we're gonna it's gonna be wet the next couple of months specifically here on the east coast um i gotta get something growing before it gets flooded I bet that's what happened. I, I bet maybe it just rained hard enough. You know, the river didn't back up, but just hard enough that this filled up enough to kill that stuff off. Damn. Well, it is what it is. 
I'm gonna go take a look at the bean hole and see if the uh, situation's any better over there. Let's go check it out. Situation here really isn't any better. Greenery in the back, that's Japanese millet. There's some down the side. This is Japanese millet through here, but I have even less of the leftover Chihuahua millet. And this was actually doing pretty good. This was doing better than the big hole. Some of that stuff was getting this tall because it was getting wet, I guess. We got flooded out. Obviously, the standing water, I mean, it's, it's drained as much as it can drain. I'll get up here and show you what I'm talking about, but the, my drainage pipe is above water level. Um, there's water in the back, but that's, that's okay. This is obviously was just underwater recently. Um, it looks like it may still be draining just a hair. There's my pipe. But I mean, that's uncovered. That's all that matters. So, wow. How much fun is that? Uh, this is, as far as effort to outcome, this is probably the worst season so far. Maybe, I was just thinking, you know, they say, well, it's September now. I think we're too late even for natural moist soil habitat plants to kick in. Maybe we'll get lucky. Something will green up here, but geez, it doesn't have. I mean, really, we can start hunting here second or third, second weekend of October. We probably won't, but we could. And then November 7th is when the season comes in for real. Um, so, yeah, man, I tell you, I am bummed. That's what happens when you, <laughs> you play with Mother Nature. Well, to try to salvage something today, I decided to work on the dam. Again, the floods have been killing us. I think I've, this is the fourth or fifth time I've worked on this dam, and it just keeps getting blown out. In the past, what I've done is I've just taken shovels of dirt, thrown it on top of it, slow the water down. The beaver comes in here and does the hard work. I think another way Debbie screwed us is she put so much water in here and flooded this so bad, I think all the beavers left. I haven't seen any beaver activity. The dam on the main creek just doesn't hold water anymore at all. Um, so consequently, the beaver that had been living in here that kept coming and fixing my dam for me is gone. Probably somewhere down around Newburn right now. But uh, anyway, I decided to fix that. And instead of just throwing shovelfuls of dirt on it, I broke it up real good. I stomped it in. I did stomp the, stop the flow of water through the dam. There were a couple of holes from roots. I have dropped the pipes to drain it. I've been leaving them up. I said, well, let's, let's drain it now. And you can see it's draining really well through those two four inch pipes. I said, let's drain it and try to keep water out of it. Like I said, it's supposed to rain next four days. I was supposed to rain today and it didn't, but anyway. So yeah, cross fingers that something will happen. Um, I do see a little bit of smart weed over there. Anyway, I'm not gonna whine about it. Any I am gonna whine about it. I'm just not gonna make you listen to me whine about it. So, anywho, that's it for today. Even though it's only 80 degrees, it's about 80% humidity. So I am sweating like a pig. Uh, so that's it for today. You guys saw where I stand, so give me cross fingers. And while you're at it, give me a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, please subscribe. I did reach the magical thousand subscribers uh, back this year. Um, I just want to continue to grow the more you guys watch and the more it helps me out uh, Trying to you know continue to grow this channel and the more motivated I am to bring you more content. I've been kind of lax this summer just because Stuff's not getting watched very often. I don't think YouTube likes duck hunters very much. I'll be very honest about that um, So I don't think I'm always getting uh, Maybe or we're as a group always getting as much attention as we should because obviously people doing stupid dances is more important than anything we might have to say right so uh that's it for today i'm gonna go ahead and get out of here grab me some lunch and uh, go sit on the couch for a little bit and think about next steps so guys thanks for watching i do appreciate your time and your support always i'm bruce and you're watching foul play outdoors <laughs>